Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss how to generate a factorial table using JavaScript. So we'll be writing a HTML page in which we are going to use some JavaScript functions and dynamically we will take input from user. The input will be a range from 0 to that range all the factorial table will be printed. So we we'll start with our HTML page. So we will be writing our JavaScript code on the head section. Here we will declare our JavaScript block. Here we will write, we are going to write three functions. Fact, factorial table.html let's save the file so we are where we are going to write three functions the first function will be the factorial function which will be exactly a factor recursive function we will calculate the factor factorial recursively so function factorial taking an input value of n if n less than or equal to 1, then return 1, return n into factorial n minus 1. So if you are having doubt for with this uh, recursive function, we will uh, I'll also try to explain the iteration function, iterative calculating factorial iteratively. So first we will just go on with this recursive function. Function now factorial table. Factorial table. It also takes input in. Uh, let now let it make specific its range. So range will be from zero to range. So in this factorial table, what you are going to do? We are going to take one. We will. We are going to take dynamically create one um, table. We will. Uh, we are. We will create a table, and all the table with that uh, all the code generated factorials within the table will be. We will form an HTML code, and it will. We will assign that in an in an HTML of a of a div tag, which we will later show you in the HTML section body section. So name of the variable will be dvstr. This is a string variable, which will be starting with table, and then table design, uh, table row, and table design. The first, this is the first, is the heading. Heading is first one is uh, uh, number, end of td, then start of td again and factorial factorials so end of td end of tr table row so this is our first string we are initialized string with this table section and next we will start our loop so i will be starting i will be the factorial i first zero then one then up to the up to range I plus plus div str as you know we can put plus equal to which is equal to div str equal to div str plus that means we are appending the rest of this code string with this div str so again we just just let us copy this one now in the number section we will just put the variable the first variable is the factorial the number of factorial we will find out that is i and the second section this is a factorial again we concatenate and we put here factorial what is the name of the function factorial factorial of i so uh, let us do one thing in the table section 
let's keep it. give a border here border equal to one others will not understand the table so the diversity is complete let's suppose now let us go to that HTML section and create the body okay in this body we will first uh, create a p tag in the p tag we will do enter range and into that we will give an input button which is a text box input type text box id will be say range txt range txt and value will be blank okay so next put a break br tag and after that we create a button there will be an on click event we are not writing the on click event right now press to get result button end of button tag so here we will call the factorial table function but before that we will do one thing as we have taken the input value in the uh, uh, range txt text box which id is range txt so we will declare another function function get input value this will just return return document dot get element by id dot value so what will be the id here that is the id of the input text box that is range txt so we just what we will do we will take this factorial table function we will call this we can also have done this in the factorial table uh, in, in that we can table take the range but but still I am just making it specific to understand get range so I am calling the function inside I am passing the parameter in factorial table by calling it calling the function get input value in, into the factorial table so get input value return the value of the text box and it will be passed to the, in the factorial table and this factorial table function will call where it, the table will be printed so one thing remain that is creating a div tag div element and give it an id as say div str uh, no the div result so just again calling document dot get element by id by id calling div result dot inner html just remember one thing that don't don't make the spelling incorrect or key. always be specific about the case of the all, all the inner HTML get element by ID because if you do commit any mistake about the spelling then it will not work generate an error because they are most of them are case sensitive uh, so this is the factorial and now we just call the function uh, call the uh, I mean, run the estimate page so this is the factorial table that HTML as you see enter the enter range giving five
so here's the result oh, oh my god the border is not there i think there is some problem with this okay let us check uh, yeah this is a see you have given table we have actually copy paste and this table tag is having started here it will be it should not be there actually it will be starting from tr so now we have done with it and let us run it again yeah here we have done you can calculate uh, as much as possible 15 let us just increase see how much it's get oh my god now it's coming on exponential pattern so just go till 21 uh, let us go till 20 so you can see so this is how we can dynamically change generate a calculation using javascript in html5 so this is all about the factory i'll just give you the code in my comment section in my video you can just go through the code and understand how it has been done so that's all about this video thank you very much do like hit the like button if you like the video to subscribe to my channel scbhr1976 190776 thank you very much